in, in the case of uh, uh, this particular judge, I think her own actions are such that uh, we don't even have to look to her friends uh, uh, to, to tell us what, what she's uh, all about. I mean, the, the firefighters case in, in, in Connecticut was a classic. Do you think uh, that's right? walks about. Do you think that was racist? She, I, I said yesterday that I thought she yes. was a racist and I got heat for it. Well, uh, that, the, the truth does that to people. Uh, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> but, but she's, you know, this whole notion that, uh, that a Latino a female can give a better answer, better uh, view of things than a white male. Well, what if a white male has said that a white male can give a better uh, uh, view of things than, than a Latino female? Well, the world would be up in arms. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it's, it's, it's like, you know, who needs to fix this whole financial thing? If we could just get some Jews in here to fix it, because they know about money. <laughs> it would be, people would be setting people on fire for saying that. How did we get to it? Oh, you know, boy. You know what it is? It's we've gotten to a place in our society that if you're in the right group or you're in the group with the, with the, uh, the powerful opinion, you can get away with saying anything. Which again embraces oh, it embraces mediocrity, doesn't it? it? It creates mediocrity because you're never challenged. That's true, but uh, mediocrity is the least of it. I mean, really, uh, racism does not have a good track record, and it's been tried a lot, a long time. Uh, and you think by now that we'd want to put an end to it instead yeah. of putting it under new management.